Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going over the latest news here at uh, Training Camp. I have a lot of uh, exclusive clips here for you guys. It's pretty cool stuff here. Cowboys are getting it done. They're making moves, roster moves, and and players are making plays. This is serious. We're gonna go into cap mode, as you know. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, the first news here that we're monitoring right now: Ryan Switzer. Uh, pulled up limp here after making a, a pretty nice catch and run after the ball Pulled up after the play was over reached for his hamstring and uh, Went over to the sideline and got with trainers. They're looking at it right now as we speak. So hopefully this is nothing serious We need this guy, you know uh, We're expecting him to be a big piece of the return game. We know the return game needs needs a big boost we also need him to be a, a solid backup for Beasley and get him on the field with Beasley. So this guy, uh, we need him. Uh, we definitely don't want to see anything happening here where he's going to be out and missing a bunch of time here. Hamstring issues can be very delicate. So ho however this turns out, uh, it's going to open the door for some other receivers to shine, or especially up upcoming here for the the uh, Hall of Fame game here coming up here pretty soon so we'll see the severity of the injury to Ryan Switzer hopefully it's nothing uh, extreme nothing bad hopefully he'll, he'll be back on the field here not too long but uh, we'll, we'll watch out the other topic here the guy that we've been talking about here a lot recently Cheeto Ouzie okay this guy's making plays all over the field uh, making turnovers around the ball Covering the guy like a blanket. Uh, I mean, the Cowboys really like him. You know, he he did good there at uh, Colorado. Has nice tape, you know, there from from uh, the draft coverage that we covered on him. So he's a solid player. Looks like right now they're starting him out on the outside and in the nickel. So uh, they're gonna see how he's doing there. And so far, making plays, making turnovers. This is something Marinelli's defense has been missing for a while. They created some today. Fumbles, all sorts of things. Interceptions, fumbles, they're getting after it. This is good for us. This is very good, but on the other side of that, the guys that are fumbling on the offense, not so good. All right, Terrence Williams screwing up here, uh, fumbling the ball. It's practice, but still, you know, you got you to be in the game here. Uh, but... The arrow is definitely on the upside for the defense. This is very early, obviously. We've still got to see how they perform in game situations. Preseason will be the big litmus test for a lot of these guys. See how they do when the, when the big lights come on, right? The other news here, we signed Ronnie Hillman, and this is official. He's going to be here uh, in the rotation here. Jahad Thomas, injured. He's still injured. This guy better be careful. He's going to end up getting on a waiver injury settlement if he doesn't heal up. Uh, definitely has potential, but not showing us anything. One of the attributes is availability. He hasn't been available. Okay, so we'll see what they do. But I do like Ronnie Hillman. Uh, I think this is a good pickup for us. And, and he can be like that, that other guy here. He can be a third down back. And he can be uh, a three down back. So... I like that signing. I think it's a good pick. <coughs> Excuse me. The other thing we want to talk about here, Taco. Taco Charlton, uh, you know, earning his star. There's no doubt about it. Getting mauled here by, you know, Tyron Smith and, and Lyle Collins having their way with him. But he's making strides. He's refining his technique. Um, he, he banged up his shoulder a little bit here, but uh, got back into it. Had a scuffle here with Dan Skipper. I think you know, some of that frustration is starting to come out here. We've got to turn that frustration into plays. And uh, we'll, we'll continue to see that development there for, for Taco. But I think this is going to be a learning thing for him. Welcome to the NFL. And these big right tackles. These tackles that we have here, they're going to make these guys, you know, wonder about life. <laughs> I mean, we have some real maulers and brawlers out there. So, uh, but it's going to get him prepared for some of these other lesser talented tackles in the league. So you're going up against the best. 
you're gonna be the best all right so we'll give that time there but that's good news there uh, taco getting getting in there you know getting scrappy the other thing here jordan lewis he's a, a full goal here in camp they tried him out here at uh, in the return game taking a couple of kicks here catching the ball interesting to see him uh you know getting a look there but also shows his versatility on the team and the value right so look for him to get playing time here in the nickel and uh, on the outside as well but uh all indications are anthony brown is kicking ass this guy is probably gonna end up winning one of those outside spots anthony brown Orlando Skandrick looking good too, but the question for him is health. Can he stay healthy, right? So uh, Nolan Carroll needs to pick it up here. But competition, man. It, it, these guys that they add in is bringing out the best in a lot of these guys. So I, I like what they're doing on defense. I'm not worried about it. Like I said, the arrow is on the up. <clears throat> and then uh, here's another nice clip here of Xavier Woods making a play on the ball against James Hanna. Speaking of which, James Hanna, good to see him back here, you know, obviously recovering from the bone bruise uh, in his knee. If he can stay healthy, he's gonna be a big boost to the running game. He's gonna help out, man. This, he's a really good run blocker, probably the best on the team. That's one of his better skill sets, run blocking, right? But Xavier Woods, good to see him making plays and He's been making plays, you know, he's not getting a lot of the notoriety that these other guys are getting, but nevertheless, making plays. These young guys, man, they have a vision, all right? They're, they're coming, they're gonna grow together and make this defense that much better. But that's it, guys. Um, <clears throat> Jalen Smith, you know, obviously he's getting rested here. I think they're gonna give him a, another, a full rest day tomorrow, and I think he's gonna be back at practice Saturday, so, He's, they're bringing him along, but man, you gotta be excited about what you're seeing from Jalen Smith. Very exciting, you know. Bringing him along, making plays this early on. There's a lot of good optimism here, and uh, you know, for good reason. He's making the plays, mind over matter. But that's it, guys. That's all we have here for today. Uh, we'll keep you abreast of all the news that's coming out here. We'll be back here tomorrow. For the next video please like and subscribe share and we'll see you here for the next video thanks guys